The last section of our catalog rules is our bolt controls. This allows you to easily control any aspect of our catalog uh, using any bulk upload option that you'd like. So you can have a list of SKUs that you want to bulk upload to your catalog. As long as it's in a CSV or a text file under 10 megabytes, you can upload that file using the upload bulk to catalog section. This is useful if you have a list of SKUs that you know you want to focus on and those are the only SKUs you want to sell from the supplier. You can upload those bulk to the catalog to have those easily moved to your store catalog section for uploading to your website. Now say you have a list of SKUs that you want to remove from your catalog. You can do the same with our upload bulk removal from catalog section. Uh, again, just a text or CSV file under 10 megabytes. Uh, the same option, you can bulk upload to those to your queue if you're not quite ready to get those loaded to your catalog. You can also upload bulk price overrides. If you have a list of SKUs in the first column of a CSV file and the price you want to fix those and list those at on your website in the second column, you can upload those using this section of the, the upload section to get those prices overridden in your catalog and they'll sync up to your store sales channel on the next sync. The upload bulk product customizations. This is very useful for uh, updating titles, descriptions, uh, any of these available fields uh, in a bulk upload manner. Um, so this is one of the only uploads that you'll actually need to use a column header as shown in the example here. And it must be a CSV file under 10 megabytes. And this will allow you to overwrite any of these fields with the data that you upload from that CSV file. And then another uh, really kind of important option here is how should empty columns be treated? By default, it's set to ignore them and not override existing data. If you clear the existing fields, if you don't have them all filled out on the upload, those will get cleared out in your catalog. Uh, there are a few ways we can revert that. You can always just uh, revert back to the default data whenever you'd like. And then catalog export. This allows you to create an export of all the products that are currently in your catalog, including titles and descriptions, UPC codes. Um, this is very useful if you need to submit this to uh, Amazon or work to verify the ASINs before you upload those to Amazon. Uh, really, any, any reason you would need a, a CSV file and work that manually, uh, maybe even doing product customization uploads, you can rewrite the titles and then upload that back into the system. And then any of these features, you can just remove them here. You can remove all the products from the catalog. You can remove all of your price overrides and all of your customizations by clicking any of these options here.